Hey, what is up, guys? It's a gaming squirtle here, and as you may or may not know, Whovian or not, this week is a very special week for Doctor Who. On Saturday, it's the 50th anniversary. It's going to be a Doctor Who filled week for specials, marathons, and all sorts of other lovely, jubbly stuff. And I myself am a big fan of Doctor Who. So, for this week, I will be doing something very special. This has been filmed on my phone, sorry if you can hear background noise, and for the bad quality. But, let me explain what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be in the description as well. So, do not, if you do not understand what I'm saying, because most people don't, because I can be weird like that sometimes. I'm going to be doing something called Doctor Who. Well,. I'm actually thought of a title now, should I call it Doctor Who Book Week or Doctor Who Reviewing Week, since not just books. I'll call it Doctor Who Reviewing Week for the sake of um, preventing World War Three in the comment section. But anyway, so you may have already seen that special mini episode prequel to the Day of the Doctor called The Night of the Doctor with Paul McGann, my favourite Doctor, appearing on screen for the first time since 1996 for failed tv movie which didn't lead to a new series but if you want to see a spin-off of paul mcgann please tell me in the comments i mean there's already petitions going on and stuff go on doctor who tv to uh do the poll i'll put it in the description below paul and we actually saw him regenerate into john hurt i think we all knew he saw the 8.5 doctor but he just doesn't call himself a doctor so anyway, where was I? I always go off the point. I'm gonna do Doctor Who reviewing week, as you can sort of see by the layout here. And what this is basically gonna be every day of the week, hopefully, because I always make promises that I can't keep. But there is a perverse kind. Shut up, Peter Parker, Andrew Garfield, forward slash backward slash Spider Man. Hashtag doofus moron. Semicolon ellipsis. Right. Um, anyway, besides the Amazing Spider-Man reference, um, basically I'm going to be reviewing books, DVDs, annuals, and merchandise that I've collected over a few years of my life of being a Doctor Who fan, and I've got many of them. So I'll just give a brief description of each book and the Doctor assigned to them. So... Let me just give you a sneak peek of what I've got inside me. This is an ancient one. I'm lucky I've got this. My friend from my old school gave this to me free when I went around his house once. He got this in like a pub from some guy. He just uh, gave it to him for free. Many benefits of meeting a drunk guy in a pub. Gives you free Doctor Who books. Doctor Who on Natural History. This is the first eighth Doctor novel I read. It's by Jonathan Blum and Kate Allman. Um, uh, probably can't see that. You can pause that and read it in your own time um it's in fairly good condition um i read halfway through it when i sort of got distracted by another doctor who book but anyway in this story the doctor's got amnesia and he can't remember anything because most of the uh, doctor's life the doctor doesn't remember anything so he's pretty much useless and he depends on his companions so bye bye next we have Doctor Who Scream of Schalke with the Doctor, the alternate ninth Doctor, as depicted by Richard E. Grant in Scream of Schalke, first broadcasted online <laughs> in 2003. Sorry about that, that was my phone saying I've got low phone space, so I better hurry up. It's by Paul Cornell, and this is new, so it's in really good condition. This just came out. Paul's I'm reading your own time. Next, we've got the 50th anniversary book collection, um, selection of 11 best books uh, republished. We've got Beautiful Chaos here, one of my, with my second favourite Doctor, Dave Tennant. Um, my favourite one, because it's a Doctor, Earthworld. I've read that. It's a really good book. Um, Remembrance of Daleks. It's a really good um, transfer from screen to book. That's by Ben Aronovich, and that's with Sim Doctor, so I've got 1087, uh, pause that. And then we've got Players by Terence Sticks, and that's Six Doctor, Colin Baker, my least favourite one. And you can read that. So, and then we've also got Complete Series Sim Part 2 DVD, I'll be doing a complete review of that. Um, I've had this for ages, nothing really new. And then, 
we've got Michael Moorcock, The Coming of the Terrifiers. This is a hardback edition. It's massive, and I haven't read any of it because it's pretty boring. I don't know why. But that's just some of the stuff I'll be reviewing, aside is from the annuals I haven't shown you, and all the other bloody books I've got, and the TARDISes, TARDIS playsets, figures somewhere that I need to find, otherwise I won't be able to review them, posters, and some other muppety shuppety stuff. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment, and don't make World War Three down there. Just say if you want the Eighth Doctor to have his spin-off series. Um, tell me who your favourite Doctor is, and if you like this idea. And I'll see you all this week, guys, and I hope you enjoy your 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, and especially this week if you're a Doctor Who fan. 